Welcome back. This is Auditing 304, Session 8, Auditing in a Computerized Environment. There have been lots of developments in the use of computers as a means of keeping accounting records and producing financial information. This trend has brought about significant changes in the way organizations process, store data, and disseminate information. These changes have implications in auditing. This session therefore seeks to introduce students to auditing in a computerized environment. At the end of the session, we are expecting students to be able to understand auditing in a computerized environment, understand the computer-assisted audit techniques, identify computer-assisted audit techniques in auditing, identify and understand approaches for computer audit. The session is outlined as follows the computerized environment, computer-assisted audit techniques, audit software, test data, approaches for computerized audit. Unit 10 of the ICA G2012 Manual Advanced Audit and Professional Ethics Paper 4.2 is a key recommended test for this session. You can consult any other books, auditing and assurance textbooks that is available to you and also the slides of, for this session. Auditing in a computerized environment. People are constantly looking forward for online activities and expect faster delivery. In accounting as well as auditing, computers in recent times plays a vital role in producing reliable and timely financial statements and reports. Most companies use com computers to improve company internal control system through the addition of new control procedures through computer and replacing the manual control due to likelihood of possible human errors. In a computerized environment, it is expected that the auditor should satisfy himself that the controls are adequate enough to produce accurate and complete financial statement. In planning the, the portions of audit which may be affected by the client's environment, the auditor should have obtain an understanding of significance and complexity of computerized information system activities and the availability of data for use in the audit. Computerized environment includes the following. Hardware, software, the transmission media, network devices. Hardware looking at CPU, monitor, printer, scanner, etc. Software operating system, database, application software, the transmission media example, wire, yes, optical fiber, cables, and the rest, and the network device like modems. These constitute what we call the computerized environment. What is the implication of this computerized environment on, on other ten? So that from manual control to electronic environment. Remember, in the traditional paperwork in auditing, which the auditor can see and feel printed marks, evidencing transactions are carried out online in most cases in real time when it comes to computerized environment. Auditors generally look for the authorizing signatures on the papers, evidencing the transaction in the traditional paperwork. In the com electronic or computerized environment, such authority is evidenced by the user of identification codes and passwords, which are all physically invisible. Therefore, the computer-assisted audit techniques comes in handy. That is CATS, simply called the computerized assisted audit techniques. CATS are computer programs and data that the auditor uses as part of audit procedures to process data of audit significance obtained in a client computer information systems. CAS are any automated audit techniques. They are important tools for the auditor in performing audits in computer environment. Auditors' use of a computer-assisted audit technique is something special. Normally, the techniques used by the auditor are not computer-assisted. The term CAS refers to the use of certain software that can be used by the auditor to perform audits and to achieve the goals of auditing. There are two main types here. We have the audit software and test packs. The audit software companies, the audit, audit software comprises of computer programs used by the auditor as part of audit procedures to process data of an audit significant from client accounting systems. It is, the, it is used by the auditor to examine the entity computer files and main and may be used during both tests of control and substantive testing 
of transactions and balances. There are two categories of the audit software. We have the generalized programs and special or the purpose rated programs. The test data. So that the series of data created by the auditor, which are processed in the same manner as actual data. The auditor in this case prepares a test of data and submits it for processing by the client computer program. This is similar to what we call the walkthrough test, but in this case, through a computer system. The data include both valid and invalid transactions. They are designed to represent realistic operating conditions. The review output will provide information about internal controls built in a system. That is, the main aim of test data is to test whether the client system will be able to detect errors or invalid transactions included. The resulting of computer processing are compared with predetermined results. And this will help the auditor to tell whether the system is foolproof or there are issues with the system. Use of CATS, use of computer assisted accounting techniques. In substantive testing, test of details of transactions and balances. For analytical review procedures to identify unusual fluctuations of items, and also compliance tests of electronic data processes. An example, the use of test data to test the functioning of a program. What are the considerations in the use of computer assisted auditing techniques? First, you should consider the computer knowledge, the expertise and experience of the auditor, availability of the computer assisted audit techniques and suitor both computer facilities. One another point is timing and also impracticability of manual tests. Approaches for computer audit. Say so that the basic approaches for computer audit are around the computer and through the computer. Let's try to look at these two approaches and understand them into details. Around the computer. Auditing around the computer. The computers are treated, in this case, computers are treated as black box and only input and output documents are reviewed. Controls and procedures used in processing the data are not considered important and the auditor ignores programs that cause the transformation of input data into output. Auditors select and test input against appropriate output and vice versa. If they match and prove to be accurate and valid, then it is assumed that the system of control is operating properly. What are the advantages of this around the computer, where the computers are seen as black boxes? Here we're saying that can be understood by anyone because it's simple and straightforward approach. Existence, extensive knowledge of the computer and data processing is not required for the auditor, and cost of audit resources is generally low. But it has several disadvantages. One, it ignores the system of controls and hence fails to recognize potential errors or weakness within the system. Second, it, provide, it represents the after fact rather than preventive auditing. Number three, it amounts, the amount of auditing in nature of post-mortem rather than preventing, preventive auditing. Fourth point, the auditor fails to utilize the full potential of computer to assist him or her in the course of auditing. It increases of increasing of printing expenses because of enormous printout requirement of the auditor. With these advantages, let's consider auditing through the computer. Here computers are treated as white box. Thus, auditors make use of a computer in carrying out the audit. Auditors can test the processing and control systems. This technique requires two basic tasks, review and verification of source documents and actual testing of the computer program logic and program controls. This has several advantages. It utilizes the computer as a tool for performing auditing functions forces the auditor to get more involved in the system, thereby increasing his ability to perform more complex audit. We see that the test results are readily identifiable 
and can be used as measures of internal processing reliability. Increases service to clients because controls and operations are checked by the auditor, provide effective testing processing logic and program controls. But it also comes with certain disadvantages. It is very expensive, requires more computer time, and requires extensive knowledge of computer and data processing by the auditor. Now let's turn our attention to risk aspect of auditing in computerized environment. Yes, it's good that the computer assists the auditor in conducting its work, but it comes with certain risks which the auditor must pay attention to. One, the hardware, the computer may be stolen, damaged, or issues of fire, unauthorized assets, possibility of unauthorized users to obtain information held on files. There may be password, other things, but you and I know that in this modern world, people have the way about passwords. Systems break down. There may be a loss of data. For example, if there is a power failure, there may be corrupt files and computer viruses. A risk aspect still continues to say that there are certain challenges, uh, challenges in evidence collection. That is, collecting evidence on the reliability of a computer system is often more complex than collecting evidence on the reliability of a manual system. Challenges in changes to evidence evaluation. Paper documents are inherently more reliable because alterations are generally apparent or may be uncovered for forensic analysis. Skills competence. Auditors should have sufficient knowledge of the computerized information system to perform such audit effectively. And also risk in network environment. Ease of amendment. Computer software and data are stored and transmitted in an intangible form. They can be amended without any trace. Threats to accountability, ease of duplication, intent risk, and etc. So these are the challenges or threats in working in a computerized environment. Notwithstanding, it's a very important tool for auditing and therefore auditors are supposed to abreast themselves with the current trends and work through their computer. Thank you and have a nice day.